Welcome to Inside Lake Forest. I'm Eileen Luby, your host, and today I have the pleasure of visiting Gerhard's Elegant European Desserts. I'm going to be meeting with Mary and getting a full tour. Let's step inside. Good morning, Mary. How Good are you? Good morning, Eileen. How are you? Nice I'm to see great. you. I'm great. Thank you so much for the opportunity to come through Gerhard's today. We're happy to have you. So, Mary, in a nutshell, tell me a little bit about Gerhard's and what type of bakery it is. We're very European style. Gerhard is a native of Switzerland, and uh, so it's Swiss French style. Great. But well, we make beautiful American style products also. Fantastic. Well, I know we're going to talk about some of the specific products, yes. but I think first maybe I'm going to get a tour of the kitchen. Wonderful. Come on back. I'd great. love to show you. Eileen, come on in. Thank you. This is our old, old kitchen, but it serves us well. Wow. And here, um, Sandy, our pastry chef, is just in the process of preparing a wedding cake for tomorrow. Oh, fantastic. And, and check out our old, old oven. Wow. Um, in fact, the previous owners, two owners ago, the woman still comes in here and says her husband installed this. Wow. Right. And then if you come over here, the table that we were just at is more like a bakery table. That's where we work on wood. But this okay. is a pastry table where you do chocolate work because it's granite. Okay. And we make all of our decorations in-house. Right now we're making some handmade flowers for Easter decorations on our Easter cakes. Beautiful. And these are made from sugar with, do they have chocolate on the top yep, here? Yeah, chocolate just as the decoration. It's a fondant product that we make. And then also over here, we're making our, starting our Easter bunnies for the Easter holiday. And we use all Swiss chocolate um, from Switzerland. And actually this young lady, Karen, is from Switzerland. <laughs> wow. Now, and so she tra learned her trade in Switzerland. So here Do she you is. get all of your um, chocolate from Switzerland then? Yes, we use the largest exporter of products that import into the America that are Swiss products. And of course, that's what Gerhard was trained on. So he's yeah. very comfortable using these products. Yeah. They're more expensive, but the mm -hmm. taste in your mouth, Eileen, you can't compare to an American chocolate. This melts instantly when you touch mm -hmm. it. So it means it melts in your mouth instantly. And that's what's delicious. Wow. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Now, too, I'm looking over here. Are these maybe some eggs that yes. they've started? These are the eggs that we've started. And you see how shiny they are. Mm -hmm. That's also an art to get chocolate melted and then reformed and they're shiny. And these will be put together and then sold in our store as pieces and we sell them in white, milk and dark. And our bunnies will be done in dark and milk. So even though we do mm -hmm. a lot of dark, you know, dark is the choice of chocolate. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it, we still sell more milk. Wow. Yeah. So. Mary, what's amazing in here is as, as I, I'm watching all the staff working diligently, this is so clean. I mean, there is not just an ounce of anything anywhere out of place. And that is such a wonderful tribute to Thank how you. well you keep this. Chef Gerhard um, is very into us having an immaculately clean operation. Um, mm -hmm. These products here that we were just looking at, these are actually going out on wholesale. We have a wholesale business and a retail business. Okay. And um, this is our, actually our number one seller, which is dark chocolate mousse with chocolate cake and a thin layer of raspberry jam and ganache on the top. So Yum. this is a really popular dessert. So are all of these refrigeration units here? Yes, the wooden here is refrigeration, but the stainless steel is actually freezer. Freezer, okay. And then mm -hmm. um, back here, this is a proof box. This is what actually gives a warm, moist environment for yeast to rise. Oh, for so breads. So this is our breads and our danishes in here. And okay. then of course, I showed you already this oven. This is our um, deck oven, our, our uh, rotating oven, and then this is our convection oven. So we have a couple of those. And then we're very proud of this item. Everybody always asks when they come in the kitchen, what is this? Mm -hmm. This is called a sheeter. Both of these arms drop down and you can put dough on it and that conveyor belt goes back and forth to flatten the dough. So we can easily cut out cookies with that, make pie dough circles or whatever. And I'd like you to know this is a Swiss product. Gerhard said when we bought the business 16 years ago, we had to buy this brand Rondo Swiss product. And this piece of equipment is 16 years old and look at it, it's in wow. perfect shape. What's really great is that it's consistent. Everything from um, Gerhard's background training, uh, the pastries that you make, the materials that you use, the equipment, everything is very Swiss-based and it's just very consistent. Yes, which is very yes, nice. and that's how the Swiss are known. You know, they have the best Rolex watches and the trains are spotless, <laughs> the country is clean. It's just their philosophy and that's how they work. And yeah. so that's why it's very nice when Carmen comes on a J1 visa, Sandy, who is our pastry chef, who's not here right now, she just run downstairs, but 
she'd been Gerhard's right arm for 11 years, so she knows him well. And right mm -hmm. now, he's out on a consulting contract. That's why he's not in the okay. shop. Okay. But he'll be back. Well, what a treasure to have in our community Thank um, you, to Eileen. have just this wonderful product here. Thank this you. This is fantastic. So, when Sandy was working on that wedding cake, may yeah. I ask then, um, I was, she was cutting the cake and then had the layers, and well then she then later frosted yes. and do all of the Right mounting. now she's gonna fill it with white chocolate mousse and fresh raspberries, it'll be three layers, and then each tier is covered in white buttercream, and then it'll be stacked, it's actually for um, tomorrow, a wedding cake for, I think it's about 200 people. Okay. It's the Brueggemann wedding, okay. the family here in town. Well, we're actually doing their flowers. Really? So. <laughs> So that it's, great? it's great that the residents yes. are keeping it here and, and supporting uh, the local community that vendors. That means the world to all of us, for yeah. us to be here. Yeah. Yes. Well, with that, I know we mentioned that you do both um, wholesale and retail. Maybe we can step back out into the showroom and we can talk about some of the products that you sell right out here to our customers. Beautiful. Great. Beautiful. Come on along. So Mary, I know in back we were talking about some of the wholesale pastries and wedding cakes, but I know you also make a lot of just really great breads and yes. desserts. Tell me about that. And I'm, I'm very proud of this. Somehow our business has gained the reputation that we're only a fancy place, but we make beautiful everyday things. We make rolls fresh made every day. This is our soft roll here with mm -hmm. the poppy or sesame seed on it. But this roll, and I make a matching bread to this, is what I'm very excited about. This is called burly bread. It comes from Switzerland. What is interesting about this bread is baked in a 500 degree oven with white flour on the top. Mm -hmm. The heat from the oven burns the white flour into the bread and makes it very dark and crusty on the outside. Mm. But also, bye Segan. The other thing is, here it is, you can see Eileen what it looks like on the inside. Oh yes. But what's most important about this Eileen, it has four ingredients and that's what bread is supposed to have. It has salt, water, yeast and flour. And if you look at the labels and the tags that are on the supermarkets, they're paragraphs long mm -hmm. about all the ingredients and it's all artificial and unnatural. And you know what Chef Gerhardt says about all this? That's why the Americans have all these food allergies because mm -hmm. they're putting all these fillers in food and it's yeah. not good for us. Yeah. So this is a really wonderful crusty bread that we make. Mm -hmm. We also do a walnut raisin bread that's half whole wheat, half white flour. Yeah. And on the top two shelves is the traditional white bread that we make. It's very, very good. Mm -hmm. But when we did buy the business and Chef Gerhardt looked at the recipe for that, he said, I am not putting that much sugar in my bread. Okay. Um, because in Europe, they don't put sugar in bread unless it's meant to be a sweet yeah. bread. No. You know? Yeah. Well, that's what you have chocolate for. Exactly. <laughs> Speaking of chocolate, we make excellent chocolate croissants yeah. and butter croissants. They're really, really popular here in the store. And our muffins, I have to tell you, sometimes when I'm down at Jewel buying carrots, and I come out of there with those 10-pound bags of carrots, mm -hmm. people in the line at Jewel say to me, uh, how many horses do you have? <laughs> I say, I don't have horses. I have a bakery. And we make our carrot muffin um, from scratch with fresh carrots. That's, That's what we're wonderful. all about. You know. Nice, fresh ingredients. Right, exactly. So this department here is kind of interesting. This row of donuts here, you know, Chef Gerhard is from Switzerland. Mm -hmm. He opened the Four Seasons Hotels all over the world. He is not into donuts. <laughs> but what happened is when we'd have those fests out on the street and mm -hmm. people would try our donuts, they would beg him to make them regularly. Oh so now he succumbed to the pressure. Our donuts are the best. They're a yeast donut. Um, but you know we have them with the raspberry filling and the confectioner sugar or this is my favorite this French crawler with the custard inside. I was just gonna say that really looks yes divine. and you know the classic of the of the mm -hmm. chocolate but even our chocolate that's those donuts are dipped in a Swiss chocolate. Swiss chocolate. You taste mm -hmm. the difference. Mm -hmm. All of our Danish is made from scratch made with butter you know our hazelnut cinnamon rolls are number one seller vanilla custard country apple raspberry this is my favorite the almond mm -hmm. croissant. Mm -hmm. Our chocolate chip cookies, people tell me they look like hockey pucks, but they're mm -hmm. the best chocolate chips they've ever eaten in their life. With Swiss chocolate? Swiss chocolate. Is and it milk? It's mi It's okay. actually a semi-sweet, I Eileen. Semi-sweet? Okay. And also the other thing is it's without nuts because of all yeah. these nut allergies yeah. that people have, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And so, of course you have cookies. That's smiley face. We can't be without uh, it. I even have grown... Um, men that come in here, Eileen, sit down with a cup of coffee and they eat a smiley face cookie with their coffee. They say it's like the best cookie in the world. That'd be something I would do too. <laughs> There's nothing, yes. something about a smile face it, cookie. It, it makes you feel good. Yes. And um, that dough is really made with butter mm -hmm. and they're out of this world. So would that type of cookie be what you'd use with that arm machine in the back? Yes, that would pull exactly. down and you'd be able to mass Very produce good. those. Right. Okay. And just like the shells of okay. all of these tarts are done on. You know, this starting here is the Linzer with the raspberry 
jam and a hazelnut. This right now is our Swiss apple tart, apples sliced thinly with a vanilla bean custard. The next one is our plum frangipan, and frangipan is a light almond flavor cake. And then the classic on the end is apple crumble. So we even make like an apple pie. Mm -hmm. made, and everything we use is fresh. Like the apples in that apple pie are fresh, not the canned yeah. slimy apples. Oh, yeah. Just so when you think about it that way, you really do wonder what you're actually getting at a non-professional bakery. Exactly. exactly. And then we've got a whole line of other delicious looking things. Mary, tell me about these. Yes, of course, our classic cupcake everybody loves. What I'd like to share with you about our shop is that we make real buttercream frosting. 90% of the bakeries out there don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. And there's two ways you can tell that, Eileen. The first way is you look at the white frosting here, you think it's white, but when you see my blouse next to it, yeah. you can really tell it's a little creamy color. Mm -hmm. And Chef Garrett says that's because butter doesn't come in white. white. Yep, butter absolutely. is a, eaten from, it comes from the cow, and so it depends what the cow eats. That's the first way. And the second okay. way, this is a refrigerator, so if you touch that frosting right now, it's hard, like a stick of butter is hard in the uh -huh. fridge. You take it out on your table and it softens. So whenever we sell these, we always have to tell the customer, and then they're like, we like the buttercream any way it is. <laughs> but you know, we make beautiful individual yeah. desserts. Mm -hmm. um, we make cakes, we do simple birthday cakes, you know, uh, white buttercream frosting and filling, happy birthday mom with some flowers on the top. You know. Pretty. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, today, right now, we're specializing our red velvet cake. We have lemon mousse. We mm -hmm. have a hazelnut praline. Our white chocolate cheesecake is New York style. It's fabulous. Flourless chocolate cake, tiramisu, raspberry mousse. And right up above the raspberry mousse is our number one seller. That's our dark chocolate mousse. Yeah, yes. everything is, it really is a piece of artwork here on, you. on what, Mary, you, you're all creating. I mean, everything from the little drizzles of chocolate to these little paint cutouts. cutouts with the hearts on them. I mean, everything is so fine and exact. Thank it's, you. It really and is And we wonderful. make it all, Eileen. We don't buy yeah. these decorations. You saw like the girl was yeah. making the flowers in the mm -hmm. back. We make all these things. So it's really we're proud a, of it's it. a hand, it's a work of art and hand created. Thank you. And mm -hmm. Eileen, if guests would come to our shop, this mm -hmm. is what they could be entitled to sit down and have. A nice cup of coffee with a plated dessert. You know, if they didn't want something like yeah. a smiley face cookie or a chocolate croissant. Well, let's take a seat, Mary. Right. We can talk a little bit more about the history Beautiful. of your Beautiful. Hearts. Beautiful. Mary, I know Chef Gerhard couldn't be with us today, but yes. you really here are the face of the, of the business in our community. Talk a little bit more about the history of Gerhard's. Well, Gerhard was the executive pastry chef of the Four Seasons Hotel in Chicago. Mm -hmm. He opened that property in downtown for six years. During that time, they sent him all over the world to open their properties. And after you're on top of that game, where else really can you go but your own business? Mm -hmm. So he had heard that this business was here for sale, and he and I were engaged at the time. And we came out here several times and looked at the community and thought this would be a great environment for him. The clientele would be wonderful, world traveled, they know our European product. Mm -hmm. And so we bought the business. Fantastic. And here it is 16 years later. We love what we do. Gerhard really is in production. I'm really in sales. So that's why everybody says I'm the face of the business because mm -hmm. I'm out here. Uh -huh. um, my background is that I was a controller for 11 years. Okay. I had no plans of ever entering into the business. But I was just so excited after it started going, and I love what I do. I love, yeah. I love my customers. I have wonderful customers. They come every day. One woman comes three times a day. That's you know, great. and gets her a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Well, not only coffee too. You also offer other drinks, yes, correct? Yes. Besides the typical cold drinks and orange juices and things like that, we do beautiful cappuccino. We use Lavazza product, mm -hmm. um, and we and espresso. We do have now a lot of Italians. I mean, real mm -hmm. Italians that pound their little shot of espresso at uh -huh. the counter, and I actually had to train the American staff that you don't come to the table to drink your espresso. The, the true Italian will stand right at the counter, take his croissant and have a bite and just pound his espresso and off he goes. Go. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of European customers and also Eileen, we have a lot of Asian customers. Right. Because our product is not so sweet, it's much more European style, mm -hmm. um, there are a lot more Asians that like that too. I have to tell you Eileen, shortly after we were open, we started seeing a lot of Asian customers coming into the shop. Mm -hmm. And Chef Gerhard said, you know, something had to happen that we have so many Asians entering the mm -hmm. business. So we actually asked one of them, 
and they brought us the write-up that was in a Japanese magazine. In wow. Japanese! Only our name and address and phone number were in English that we could read. And so now we're in the Asian community too because our product is natural and it's not full of sugar like the typical American bakery. Yeah. Oh, that's so neat. Yes, and really something. is a really interesting piece for the residents to know that this is not, it's such a European feel. Yes. But it's because of that, because of the all natural products right. that are being served. Yes. And we love what we do. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. So you only have one location, correct? Yes. And so everything for your wholesale and your retail is right out of here. Right out of this kitchen. Right out of the, the kitchen that we you saw. Said it. Yep. Fantastic. And now, what would you do with maybe some of the products that don't sell uh, in a timely fashion? For example, the breads. You know, the, because yes. they're so natural, uh, they're not going to last months and months. That's correct. Exactly. I'm very proud. Um, Eileen Gerhardt and I, when we started, we wanted to make sure that none of this got thrown out. Mm -hmm. And we partnered up with local St. Mary's, mm -hmm. and I have actually two of the same men that started with us 16 years ago. They come pick up our, our items that are you know no longer for sale the next day, and they take them up to a church in Waukegan, I believe. Mm -hmm. And the two men still do it every day, and I'm very proud that we give back, that this product yeah. isn't thrown away and people are actually eating our leftover breads and rolls. And oh. then our customers, when they're in the shop sitting down and they see the men leaving with the bags, they're like, where are those going? <laughs> they want to go follow them. I said, no, no, no. But yeah, so I'm very proud yeah. to give our leftovers to the soup kitchen. And I would like to tell you, 16 years ago when we started, they would come every day that we're open. Mm -hmm. And then the, the economy changed and there was, they would come every other day and take the products up to Waukegan. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the state of the economy now, yeah. Eileen, yeah. these men are back to coming every single morning, picking up my leftovers and taking them up to Waukegan for the yeah. people that are yeah. not well, as lucky. Well, that's really a tribute to the business that you're able to give back to the community in such a yeah, generous way. Yeah, I'm very way. happy about that. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you. Now, you also have a website. Yes, GerhardsDesserts.com. And people can find information about what you do, um, yes. setting up a, maybe a consultation appointment for a cake, for Correct. a wedding, wedding a special occasion. Special occasion. Or maybe just a birthday cake for a special birthday. That's right, exactly. I can't believe, since we've had a daughter, how important I think first birthday cakes are now. Yeah. It used to be I was so excited about wedding cakes, and yeah. now that we have a daughter, I'm excited now about children's birthday cakes. You know, oh, very fun. Right. Very fun. So I'm sure you can probably work with themes and colors and all Whatever decorations. They want. And some mothers actually bring in pictures. I don't mean a picture of the child, the theme that is going to mm -hmm. be used on the cake, and we'll decorate around it and incorporate it on the cake, and we do some wild things. Oh, very and it's fun. all edible what we do you know yeah. it's all done out of chocolate yeah no plastic pieces exactly. or anything like right. that right yeah it's so neat and we want I mean I was able to see them just decorating those really intricate little pieces of, of sugar and, and chocolate yes. really neat so Mary not only can people find you on the website but not they can come into the store and meet with you yes what is your telephone number 847-234-0023 Great. And then your store hours? Are Tuesday through Friday from 7 in the morning until 5.30 and on Saturdays from 7 to 4. Now this space, has it always been the bakery here? Eileen, I think this is very interesting. I told you that Gerhard and I have owned it for 16 years. Mm -hmm. It was a bakery before that for 60 years. So for 76 years, this spot has been a pastry shop. Wow, how special in our community. Right. So Mary, you have a breakfast club as well? Yes, this is really cute, Eileen. Um, when we started, I had all these couples sit at their separate tables here in the shop. And thank God, as the business grew and it got busier on Saturday mornings, they observed that I needed some of the tables mm -hmm. and there are just two people at each table. So graciously, I said, you know, do you mind sitting over here with this couple? And they were, you know, very nice. Well now, believe it or not, I have four couples that come every Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. They form the Saturday morning breakfast club. They take over the shop, and of course, they bring more of their friends. Wow. Oh, I love and that. these four couples that did not know each other, all mm -hmm. live in Lake Forest, now even celebrate holidays together, and they celebrate and go on vacations together. Oh my gosh. From our shop, they met each other. That's it's so neat, the, the relationship building, which I think is so special in our community. We're always reaching out together and building relationships. Yes. And right here at Gerhardt's, that, that is the place. Happened. Yeah, and every Saturday morning, they all come in here and make plans mm -hmm. for their next event. Well, Mary, thank you so much. Thank you, it has Eileen, been for coming. such a pleasure touring the back and learning more about the history of the business. Thank you. You are been a staple in our community for so many years and we look forward to many more years I of you hope here. So. We want to be here. Great. All right, thank you, Eileen. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Inside Lake Forest. As you know, today I've been visiting here 
at Gerhard's Elegant European Desserts, located across from this train station in Market Square. It's a place for everyone, so please stop in today.